16-year-old with respiratory arrest. The only thing I hate more than a thief is a crippled thief. Yeah, me too. No sign of trauma, no history Who of asthma. Who the hell is Jay Whitner? No idea. Stevie Lippa, his EKG and echocardiogram were normal, but normal is good. Send him home. Jay Whitner, doctor. Who is he and where do I find him? She's a new researcher, works with Urshevsky. She hot? She's in a wheelchair. Doesn't mean she's not hot. Just means she can't bend over. So Cuddy has to bend over backwards. 16 year Sweet ride. I asked for the one with a sissy bar and the banana seat, but Santa gave me this instead. I guess that's what I get for being naughty. You must be Dr. House. Yeah. So, looks like there's been some sort of mix-up at the parking office. They had to move me closer to the door. Had to? You don't look like the type to pull a weapon. Wheelchair. Kane, I think you should do the honorable thing. Let me have my space back. Oh, well, uh, since you asked so nicely. Wheelchair. Kane, walking long distances makes my leg hurt. And it's easy for me. Of course not. Pushing that little lever, the muscles must burn. I'm sure the last 10 yards, pure torture. Crossing the parking lot's dangerous, cars can't see me. You ever hit a patch of black ice with a cane? No, gosh, on account of the fact that I can't walk. Maybe you should ask the parking office for some crampons. This is about who can most easily cross the parking lot. You're the winner. Oh, and the prize is apparently a parking space. You can't be serious. Actually, I can. See? It's my space. I want it back. It's not your space. It's the hospital space. And the hospital thinks that the person who's worse off should get the better space. Your application for handicapped space says you can walk 50 yards. And Whitner says she can roll 50 miles between oil changes. I can't change my leg. The space I moved you to is only 46 yards away from the front door. I measured, you'll be fine. Great, so I can collapse four yards into the lobby instead of outside in the cold. As long as it's not in my office. You know who won the New York City Marathon six years in a row? Guy in a wheelchair. Then go get yourself one and leave me alone. Give me my space, I'll be happy to roll around all day. <laughs> you couldn't last one week in a wheelchair. Wanna bet? What's wrong with you? Nothing that a week off my feet won't solve. Phenogram's negative, no leak. You mean you couldn't find the leak? Is your leg worse? No, my parking spot is. Blood is only made inside the circulatory system, which means when we find it outside... There's no leak, I even check lymphatics. So you're gonna spend a week in a wheelchair just to get a parking space closer to the front door? Easier than chopping out my legs. We've ruled out taxes and drugs. Mass, it will be even easier to find. Pardon me. I guess you guys are gonna have to get the next one. What are you going to do now? Oh, now I've got to slide my butt from one padded seat to another. What if I bump my knee? MRI showed a granuloma in his liver. Fantastic. Want to give me a hand here? No. Cladding, bleeding, and a granuloma equals Wegener's. I know. That's why I said fantastic. I was being sincere. Now give me a hand. Wouldn't be fair. We're going to biopsy the liver to confirm. Wouldn't be fair not to. People are good and kind and gentle and help people in wheelchairs. You don't believe that. You do. No, I don't. Foreman, forget the biopsy. His liver will be gone before you get the results. Start treatment with cyclophosphamide before the Wagner punches a hole in another pipe. that if they don't trust you, you should earn that lack of trust. What does paying for tinfoil mean? Why should I have to answer all the questions? Oops. Sorry. Still getting used to the power steering. I assume you've heard the news? I'm not worried. From what I hear, what you lack in shame, you also lack in willpower. The will may be weak, but my backbone is strong and pain-free now that I've stopped using the cane. Of course, it's harder to look down Cuddy's shirt. Then the vantage point on her ass is much improved. 
But that's just me. Always looking on the bright side. I'm the guy who said that her C cups are half full. They are nice, aren't they? Oh, no, 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 no. You're not gonna win me over that easily. You may have a wheel, it doesn't mean you get the grease. You gotta squeak. Ah, uh, yes. If it isn't Dr. Ironside. Ah, if it isn't Dr. I had no friends when I was growing up, so all I did was watch TV by myself, which is why I can now make constant pop culture references, which no one understands but me. That's my name. Don't wear it out. Uh, uh. Safe from Cuddy, but I guess not from her trusted rat complice. Reasonable people don't debate the relative merits of their handicaps. Reasonable people make rules based on evidence. Like difficulty covering a distance, say 50 yards, then on some preordained patheticness scale. Last I checked, pigheadedness was not the eighth heavenly virtue. It's only pigheaded if you're wrong. If you're right, they call it sticking to your principles. Give it up. You're demeaning yourself. That's what they told Rosa Parks. Don't stand up in there. I'm watching your feet. Can't talk now. On guard duty. You're still in that thing. What thing? Oh, this. Forgotten it was even there. You know, even if you manage not to get struck down by a bolt of lightning and make it a week, Cuddy's not gonna give you the space. She can't. That's a bet. Yes, and that rule outranks the Americans with Disabilities Act. You think you've got logic on your side, but Whitner's got the legal system. And legal beats logic every time. Just ask OJ. You're right. I am. Yeah. So you're doing this even though you know you've got no legal leg to stand on? Who needs legs when you got wheels? I'm gonna get that spot. No way, Cuddy is going to jip me. What'd you say? I'll see you later. Gonna have them yelling at me for the next 20 minutes. <laughs> this is my last day living a life of leisure. So are you gonna tell Dr. Whitner she's out of my space or can I? Why would I do that? Because you said that you would. And lying is wrong. I said I would give you the space if you made it a whole week. Which I didn't. The bet didn't stipulate that you had to be in the chair for a week unless you had to barge into an operating room and shove your hands in a kid's bowels. You know about that. You lost. I saved a life. Two minutes out of the chair to save a kid's life. You lost house. I earned that space. No, you didn't. I earn that space every day. I limp into that building and do my damn job. You lost. Hey! You were never gonna give me that space, were you? I saw Whitner the other day. She knew about the bet. Didn't seem that worried. She knew I'd win. She doesn't know me. In fact, she doesn't know anything except what you tell her. You told her that you were never gonna give me that space, didn't you? Just tell me, do you at least feel a little guilty? You wanna teach me lessons. Don't make commitments you can't keep. How's it going? How guilty does she look? Hmm. About an eight. That space is mine. Vini Vidi Vici. Written.